So a corner of a rectangular block of wood is cut off and is shown in the diagram below. And the inclined plane is triangle ACD, so that's going to be the main triangle that we're working in. It's an isosceles triangle, so having two sides equal and then two opposite angles. So if that's x plus 3 on this side and we've got theta here, theta there, definitely x plus 3 on this side as well. Uh, having ADC equal to ACD equal to theta, we just discussed that. Also, ACB is equal to a half theta. It's drawn for you. Remember, if it's not drawn, just draw it in yourself. AC is equal to x plus 3 and CD is equal to 2x. So question 7.1, determine an expression for CAD in terms of theta. So CAD in terms of theta. Well, we know that the internal angles of a triangle sum to 180 degrees, right? We know that C is equal to theta. We want to calculate A. We know that D is also equal to theta. So look, A is just going to be 180 minus 2 theta. Very easy way to solve that. Question 7.2, prove that cos theta is equal to x over x plus 3. So we've got a pretty interesting question here. They're saying prove that cos theta. So we are going to utilize here the cos rule. We could have even used the sine rule. But look, since there's a cos, might as well work with it, right? So we're working with theta. And what we do know is that AD is equal to x plus 3. Reason, that's sides opposite equal angles. So that would be our first reason, right? And now we can utilize our cos rule. So AC squared is equal to AD squared plus CD squared minus 2AD dot CD cos theta. Okay, now this is quite interesting because we are working in this triangle here. So this is coming from your formula sheet. All we did was apply it. So AC squared, that is the length of the side opposite the angle that we wanted to calculate, which is just theta. Uh, it could have been AD as well, because, well, AC is equal to AD. And that's equal to AD squared plus CD squared. So it's the other two sides now. We squared them both minus 2AD CD. That's it. And that is equal to the, to the length opposite the given angle. But we could have used either, to be honest. And we know that AC is equal to AD. So now we can start subbing in. So AC is equal to x plus 3 squared, which is equal to x plus 3 squared. AC and AD have the same. CD, so plus now 2x squared. And just fill the rest in 2x again and our x plus 3 cos theta. Okay, and now we need to simplify it. Some basic algebra. I'm not going to go through it um, too much. This is more a trig video. So look, if you simplify the x plus 3 squared this x plus 3 squared, and factor in the 2x, it will give you 4x squared. Negative 2 times 2x gives you the negative 4x. Don't forget the x plus 3, cos theta. So ultimately, we want to isolate our cos theta. So let's just get it by itself immediately. And this 4x squared, we take it over to the other side. So that's going to be a negative 4x squared. And we needed to divide through by this negative 4x x plus 3 in brackets. Therefore, cos theta is equal to the negative 4x's cancel each other out. Remember, there's no negative 4x squared on this side. So there's just going to be x at the top. So final answer is x over x plus 3. And that's the question. Really nice, really interesting. It's 3D trig, uh, just utilizing your understanding of sine rule, cos rule, applying it properly, and just hoping that your algebra can follow through. And bits and pieces of um, like some grade 8, 9 type algebra.